So, a Fifty Shades recipe. <laughs> I know, another one. Supper, Mr Hackett. I'm doing supper. I'm doing actually one of our favourite dishes. And it's also for Hilary Sutton and Carol Elphick, who wanted something linguine and crabby sort of thing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing one of my favourite dishes, which it's kind of m my version of it, because crab and linguine, um, crab linguine and chilli and garlic is a really beautiful dish and it's cooked so well, but I'm just adding a couple of little things to it um, because I, I have either have it in the fridge or um, I just like it, really, as well. I just like it. And the two things I add today are going to be a bit of spinach and some lemon zest as well, just sort of brighten it up. But I'm going to show you my little secret with the crab. But let me just put on some linguine. There's my pan of boiling water in here. And I put a couple of um, bits of peel, lemon peel in there, so it just flavours the water. And when I did that before, everyone was like, oh my God, what a fantastic idea, but it really it does help. And it gives the pasta a little bit of lemony flavour, which is ideal when you're doing something like crab. So, following the, the ways of Mr. Jamie Oliver, I'm going to put the linguine in as he would do it, okay? And I always do too much, as you know, John, don't I? Yep. So here's his twist. So you twist, so you let it flop, and then apparently you just let it suck it down. If it doesn't work, Mr. Oliver, it's your fault, not mine. Okay, right, crab. Now, we've got from Flying Fish um, at home, it's a home delivery of um, beautiful fish from Cornwall. This is brown crab meat. Now, brown crab meat is, is cheaper than white, but it has so much flavour. And so I love it in this dish because it just adds beautiful really really good powerful crab flavour to it all. I won't be using all of it, I'll put the rest of that in the sauna tomorrow but um, I'm going to use a good whack of that and then because I don't have any fresh crab meat this is tinned which I know it doesn't look brilliant it's not in the beautiful long shreds of normal crab meat but because we have this very powerful brown crab meat that will be fine. Um, now if you don't have brown crab meat which you can get in most supermarkets and it usually come in little tubs it's, it's not too bad uh, price wise you can use if you want to make this really quickly tinned crab meat but buy the um it's called dress lobster or dress crab john west do it little tin a couple of quid not very expensive a couple of tins of those really again a lot of crabby flavor in there and i usually use that if i don't have the brown crab meat look it worked there we go that works you just tuck tuck the last bits in and then i'll just bring it down with it let it do its thing so that's going to be about 10 minutes so while that's happening garlic chili and these are parsley stalks so i've chopped up some parsley but i thought i'm going to use the parsley stalks as well because they have a lot of flavor and i'm just going to put them into a big pan um and which has a good wallop of olive oil in it and i'm just going to soften them for a few minutes I'll just turn them up a bit in the olive oil and while that's in there this is when I add the crab meat the brown crab meat right and I sort of just cook it down in the garlic the chili etc just gonna melt down really there we go All that lovely flavour from that meat, honestly, I can't tell you, it's so delicious. And it's really worth, I'm just going to put a little olive on it, it's really worth getting your seafood if you can, or your, or your fish, from a flying fish at home, because they will deliver it to your door, it will be on your plate 48 hours after it's landed in Cornwall. I mean, how fantastic is that? I think, it's less than, I think it's less than 48 hours. Is it less than 48 hours? Well, our next box is coming on Tuesday. Lands on Monday. Lands yeah. out on Monday. Yeah, so 24 hours. So that is all sautéing now with the olive oil and all those lovely flavours. Next, I'm just going to add some spinach. 
that wilt down. But this is just because I, I had some in the fridge and I, you know, I just wanted to add it to it. And I don't think it'll do it any harm at all. It all wilts down and it'll just a little bit of flavour. And also, it's another vegetable, isn't it? Can't have enough. That's for the green stuff. I'm also going to put a slug of um, wine in there as well, which I need to get out of the fridge, which you're leaning up against right now. There you go. Now, so what I did, I just added the rest of that crab to that. I thought, I'm, there's, there's no point in hanging around. Let's just whack it all in. So I just used that whole packet. This is going in. Nice bit of French rosé. And Hillary, now Hillary, I've known since I was seven, maybe seven or eight. And, um, and she said this was on her 40, 50, 40 shades, 50 shades of food as one of the dishes that just sends her into ecstasy. And I totally agree with her, I'm, on, I'm with her on this. And so, and, and Carol too, totally. I think, I think crab meat is really underused anyway, brown crab meat. So I think it's really worth getting a bit more of that into our diet. Um, but also, it's just the, the, the linguine, it's all silky. When I finish with this, it's a bit of creme fresh in there and everything. It's just this lovely silky sauce that coats the linguine. Blooming love it. Right. Bit of lemon zest going in. That's the rest of the zest from that lemon that I put into the lemon uh, rind that I put in. Pasta, I'm just going to stir that in so I can just lift it. A little bit of salt goes in. Okay. And some black pepper. And then I'm going to pop some creme fraiche in. A lot of creme fraiche. I can use this little, little pot here, which went out of date two days ago. Which is perfectly fine. There we go. I'm going to wallop of that in. We're doing linguine with crab tonight. We're doing it big time. I mean, you know, if you're going to do it, enjoy it totally with loads of wonderful creme fraiche in there. So that's going in. Stir, 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 lovely, lovely. I think it's our pasta almost done. One minute, two minutes. So just turn it up a bit. I've made a bright old mess, haven't I? Nothing new there. Nothing. Okay. So I chopped up some parsley. So I'm just going to put that through as well. In. I haven't chopped it, I'm just leaving that whole that's going in. More flavour. And then finally, the white crab meat. Thud. That is, um, as I said, tinned. A couple of tins in there. I'm just going to stir that through. I'm just going to get a little bit of the pasta water and just put that through in there as well, just to let it down a little bit. And I think we are ready to bung some pasta in. I'm going to take it, let me just taste some. Mm. Oh, oh, mmm, mmm. Oh my God, that's heavenly. That is so good. That lemon has just lifted it, but all of that flavor from that crab in there. Blooming lovely, huh? blooming lovely. Right, so I'm just going to add it straight from the pan. Put it into the sauce. Oh, sorry, did I get you? It's all right, still good for life. <laughs> Again. Again. Oh, can you see there's the little bits of lemon on top of it? And there's two. It's cooked, it's not going to do you any harm, but there we go. Alright, so just stir that sauce through. Wow, that is scrumptious. Just make sure it's all nicely covered, and then I'm going to serve it up. But I'll serve it up over there. Mother. So, this is another 50 shades of deliciousness. 
Shall I do a little posh twisty thing? Don't love Jamie. No, that's just me doing it really badly. <laughs> okay, there we are. I guess I should twist it. Anyway, it doesn't it doesn't look like it's been it looks like it's been placed as opposed to piled in. Which is if you guys weren't here, it's probably what I would do. Oh, I'm not very good at it, really. This tongue's here, isn't it, my lovely? I think I've ever done it again. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to pull the sauce on just yet. Let's just um, let's just try and make it look vaguely ladylike, shall we? Just keep it plate up. There we go. All right, my love. Now, the, the last thing I'm going to do is just a little squeeze of lemon juice over the top, okay? That just, again, gives it a little bit of flavour. And then the final little bit of olive oil on top. Um, I can get the bottle open. So that is my chilli, crab, linguine with lots of other stuff in it. Chilli and garlic and parsley and basil and spinach and creme fraiche and wine and salt and pepper. I just need half a tonne of parmesan and happy days.